channel i hope you're all doing really well and looking forward to christmas next week today's video i thought i would bring you a very quick gift guide i know it's very last minute but a lot of these things you can find online on next day delivery and they would make a really good present for people in your family of all different age groups boys and girls but especially people who are homeowners the things i'm going to include in this video aren't things that i've just found this year that are new hot topics these are things we have used for a long time in the house and we use them every single day and it's things that I would genuinely recommend because we use them as part of our everyday routine and for that reason they would make perfect gifts. I think we always find gifts need to be something that's like a pamper product or something that is really sort of like luxurious and something you wouldn't normally buy yourself but actually I think the best gifts are sometimes just the ones that I would maybe buy myself for the house but use every single day. On that note I'm going to dive in and tell you 10 items that we use in the house and absolutely love and would love to have as a gift at Christmas time. So first of all, big disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I have been sent a couple of these items which I will tell you at the time if I've been sent them or if I've bought them myself because I think sometimes people like to know that. Not that it would alter my opinion in any way because if I'm gifted something there is no obligation for me to talk about it anyway. So all these things are electrical items, some are more affordable than others. This item I find a bit of a middle of the road type of present in terms of price especially if it's for a couple and that is an espresso coffee machine. We have a Krups or Krups, I'm never sure how you say that word, coffee machine and basically all it does is makes an espresso. So what you do is you get a coffee pod. I will link my coffee pods that I use below because they're not actually the espresso ones. I use some that I get off Amazon that are really cheap but also gorgeous coffee. They're fair trade, they are compatible with the machine and they are very, very affordable. So all you do is pop in one of the little pods in the top, you close it over and you decide which size of espresso you would like. So I normally go for the biggest one. Obviously being a mum I need a big massive espresso every morning so you just close it over and then it will fill up the cup below and when the pot is finished it will drop into the little bin below where it will collect maybe about four or five of them until you need to like ditch them in the bin and get rid of them so it's such a good machine. Mine was £65 but it's just so affordable I think for a coffee machine. So yeah, really good coffee machine. I've been using it since we moved into the house. It's one of the first purchases I had for the house was this coffee machine. It looks great. It's a great, really impressive present, especially for maybe parents, or even if you're maybe going to a wedding this year or something, it's 65 pounds, the one I've found. So I will link that below. But what I actually find makes this coffee machine is a new purchase, which Fraser got me last week from the Nespresso shop and that is the Aerochino. So it's kind of like a capsule shape. What you do is you fill it up to the indicated line with milk, press the button once to make hot, frothy, foamy milk to make a kind of cappuccino, latte kind of idea. But if you like a frappe coffee, if you press and hold it for more than two seconds, it will make your milk all frothy but still cold so you can have like a kind of cooler coffee in the summer and then into the winter months you can have a nice warm latte. That is £50, I think that's the cheapest I've managed to find it online. So in total if you're buying the whole present collectively with the Nespresso and also the Aerochino then you'll be paying £115 for the whole set which if you look online with comparable coffee machines it's a pretty good deal. The next item that I'm going to tell you about has honestly changed my daily life. It sounds so far-fetched but this gadget is a must in a household. I've actually bought this for a special someone this Christmas, which I will not be saying because they might be watching this video. But this was gifted to me by Google and it's the Google Home Hub. You will have seen it everywhere this Christmas. It is such a good machine. So this does a whole host of different tasks and I probably wouldn't even be able to tell you them all in this video because I'm still learning every day. It's still kind of like giving out new information every day. There's still new activities you can do with it that are still being released. So it's definitely something that is going to be able to do amazing, like really cool technological things um, in the future as well. So basically this is like a little tablet that sits stationary in whichever room in your house you desire it to be. Personally, I would recommend it in the kitchen because that's kind of like the room that we all sort of gather. Of course, we've got the lounge as well, but that's where we would sit and watch TV. But for us to have it in the kitchen diner area is perfect. It's roughly about £130. That's how much I paid for it on John Lewis. And that comes with a two-year guarantee as well. So if it breaks or there's any accidental damage, then it's covered under that guarantee. So I will leave a link to that below because I find John Lewis is really good for buying gadgets from for that reason because you've got the two-year guarantee. Google Home Hub that I've got, the things that I use it for are 
telling me the time. So generally it just sits there with the clock on just so that I always know what time it is when I'm running about my busy day. The second thing I use it for is for playing videos while I'm cooking. So that might be for either showing me how to make something, I'll say, hey Google, show me how to make lasagna and it'll give me step-by-step -step instructions of how to make lasagna. Or even silly things like how long should I boil an egg for to have a soft centre, it'll tell you that right then and there. So you can use it for all your cooking questions. You can also use it to set timers, to set reminders, to make lists for your shopping. You can link it up to your phone to see your calendar. It is so cool, but one thing I do use it for as well, and I am not ashamed to admit it, is that if I'm cooking and the kids are constantly asking me when dinner's ready, I'll say, hey Google, play kids TV shows on YouTube, and they will be able to go through and select videos on YouTube for them to watch. Basically like an iPad, but a stationary one that they can't touch, and it's up out the road on the counter. So yeah, it does so many cool things. I'd imagine for a guy or for like a dad, it'd be good for asking things like football scores or when the next football fixtures are or when something's shown on TV. It's really good. It uses the Google search technology to find out all this information. It's a really amazing product. I love it and I think for the money, it's actually really cheap. When you think about £130, it's basically a tablet that sits in your kitchen. If you were to buy a tablet, you're probably about that much money anyway without the voice command. So yeah, I can't say enough about it. I absolutely love it. And like I say, it was gifted, but I've actually then went away and bought one. So Google, good marketing, because you've given me one for free and then made me buy another one, which cancels it all out. But yeah, I'm not complaining. It is such a good product. I absolutely adore it. And I cannot wait to see what other things it can do and develop with in the future. However, if the Google Home Hub is out with your budget and you're not chipping with anyone and you want to get a similar type of product, then the Google Home Mini is a really good alternative. We have the Google Home Mini in Charlie's room and the things that I use it for are things like making playlists in Spotify, which you can do in the hub as well. Uh, making playlists in Spotify and then playing them at night time for his like bedtime routine. So we've got a Charlie's bedtime playlist that has like lots of Disney lullabies on it. We've also got a more fun one like Baby Shark and stuff like that for when we want to play. And another thing I really love it for is that I can say, hey Google, play an animal noise and then it'll play whichever animal noise that I ask for. And Charlie really enjoys that as well. It's good for asking the time, it's good for asking the weather, it's good for asking to put something in your calendar. It's good for doing all those commands that kind of like manage your day. So giving that gift to somebody else is really good. Now I believe this is about 50 pounds. Like I say, we have one in the room for Charlie, but, but again, I've got one for Christmas this year to give to a family member as a present. So I just love these products, as you can tell. <laughs> Next thing that I absolutely love and use on a daily basis, and so many people ask me questions about it all the time, is my Dyson handheld vacuum. I honestly don't know what I did without this thing. It's amazing for if you have a pet, it's amazing for if you have children that have crumbs and mess, it's amazing if you just like it for convenience, and it's also good for elderly people. I love it for the fact that it's so convenient, but it's light. So great for doing your stairs. It's great for cleaning up mess after lunch when you just quickly want to hoover and then leave. It's good for like making nice vacuum marks in your carpet if you want to make it look nice and clean. It's just a very efficient piece of kit. And again, I know this is a more expensive item, but if it's something you're maybe thinking for a parent, you're like chipping in with siblings, then I would definitely recommend getting a handheld vacuum. It's got about 15 minutes battery life. It's got a sizable little bin on there for all the dust and the debris that you pick up with the hoover. And also something that my husband uses it for all the time is cleaning the cars. So again, if you have a husband that likes car cleaning and doing that kind of thing, not going to discourage it because I hate doing it. But yeah, using the handheld vacuum is amazing because it has so many different parts, really good storage, nice and light, good for elderly relatives as well if you're struggling for a present for grandparents, if they're maybe just struggling to like manoeuvre around a big hoover, or they would just find it easier using something more handheld and with a shorter time. But yeah, I would definitely say the new generations of it would probably replace a typical vacuum. However, I've got the V6 animal, I believe, and it's really good for that kind of like daily morning kind of run over the carpet. It's good for tiles as well because you can take off the rotary like motor so that it doesn't catch anything and then maybe break a tile. It's just a really good piece of kit. Really good for reaching high places, good for not being stuck to a plug point, 
and I think it would make an amazing present for someone just to give them the convenience of daily cleaning. Something you're going to use every day is always more worthwhile. Also the price per use then makes it a more valuable present because if they're using it all the time it's money well spent. Another gift that I absolutely love and it was gifted to me is a drying rack. A heated dryer honestly is a game changer especially if you do not have a tumble dryer. This one that we have is from Lakeland and it's called Dry Soon. It was gifted to me by my sister-in-law's parents for a wedding present and they always buy it for wedding presents for couples because they know how good it is. Basically all it is is a big huge drying rack. It folds so flat you could slide it under your bed, you could slide it in a cupboard. It's very compact although it may be big. It's very very slim and basically you can either have both sides up or you can just have one side up and it provides you with about one, two, three, four, five, six drying rails um, where you basically can hang up your clothes the way you would on a normal drying rack however this plugs into the wall and then heats up it does not damage your clothes it does not scorch your clothes it's not roast and hot to touch but the best thing about this is if you get the big cover it creates like a warmer space but not a damp space it has to be said we keep ours in the cupboard underneath the stairs which is actually inside our downstairs toilet but it's a big cupboard we put a plug point in there we keep the door open and we also have an extractor fan in there and it's such a good piece of kit we use this probably more than we use the tumble dryer because when you put sheets on it it doesn't have that really mild fragrance that you get when you put it in the dryer like you know that way you can almost just smell your fabric softener and you're just dying for it to be stronger this doesn't do that it actually keeps the scent really strong which i love for about 100 pounds i will leave the link below but yeah genuinely one of my favorite things that i have in the house to use so yeah amazing gift something that i don't have but i am dying to have is an electric wax burner I am such a convert on wax melts. If you've followed me for a while, you know that I used to love candles, but now I am all over the wax melts. I find them stronger. I think the fragrance lasts longer. Oh, that right. <laughs> I also find that they give off less emission into the house in terms of black smoke that comes off of a naked flame on a candle because it's inside the little wax burner. So the soot tends to stick to the bottom of the wax burner sooner than going all over your house or all over your walls. How many times have you moved a candle from somewhere and then moved a photo frame and thought, God, look at that wall, covered in black soot. So yeah, a really good item. I will link my favourite one in Amazon below. I actually bought this for my Nana just before she passed away. I got it for her last Christmas because she had an issue with her lungs. And they say that if you use a wax burner with a candle in it, then it will still give you that issue with kind of eating up the oxygen. So I bought her this one on Amazon um, and she never really got a chance to use it before she passed away, which is just really quite sad. But I know that she loved it when I gave it to her. She loved the idea of it because she loves candles, just like me. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get one as well so that I can remember her. Something else you might have heard me talk about on my channel if you've been watching for a while are the Wi-Fi plugs. Fraser bought these on Amazon and they are such a good idea, especially if you've got kids that maybe just want to keep their light on at night if they're afraid of the dark. Basically what you get is it kind of looks like a travel adapter. You plug it into the wall, into the socket as usual, and then you plug in whichever item that you want to control the on and off function of. So you could probably be a bit more adventurous. For me, I just use lights, but you could use your TV. You could use loads of different things. I can imagine there will be lots of things that you could use this for, but for me, it's just for lights. What you then do is you go in the app store and download an app called eFamily Cloud, and then you can actually set up all your devices and then you can put them into rooms like living room, bedroom, Charlie's room, Ella's room, our room, office, and it will tell you whether the items are on or off. It's a really good device. I love it for nighttime for Ella and Charlie because I tend to put them to bed. If Ella has like a movie night on a Friday or something, then it means I can turn off her light from here and then she knows that's time for the movie to go off to. And then also for Charlie, if I put on the Google Home music, instead of actually turning it off on Spotify, I could also use the app to turn it off on the switch as well so it's really really good i think it's quite a different sort of present it's a gadgety kind of present guys will probably love it girls are like but you know what guys are like with gadgets so yeah really affordable you get three in the pack that we got i think we got six in total but three in the pack and i think it'd make a really good stocking filler and something different the next one is probably a more expensive item in fact it's definitely a more expensive item and it is a camera now, the reason that i've included this in this video is i have so many messages 
especially at Christmas time, people asking which camera I use to take pictures. I'm filming on it right now, it is my Canon G7X Mark II. I don't know a vlogger that doesn't use this camera, it is so good. Do you know what it's good for? It's good for the days when it's dark outside and you've not got good lighting and you don't have a ring light and you need to take a nice picture and you just want it to look nice and bright. There's something within the camera settings that basically picks up the light and turns the kind of orange, darker yellow tones into brighter, whiter tones. And that is what I love. If you look on my Instagram feed, you'll see that I've got really quite bright pictures on there. And that is because I use this camera. It is amazing. It's good for taking videos. It's good for taking pictures in darker settings. It's also good for taking portrait pictures and giving you nice blurry backgrounds. Now this camera retails for about £500. It is not a cheap camera. However, for what it gives you in your life, I would say it's well worth the money. Having memories, you can never put a price on that and if it's something that you really, really love and you feel passionate about is taking pictures, documenting your kids' lives, having things to look back on, then I would definitely say get this camera. I can't recommend another camera to you because I only use this one, but of course if there are other cameras out there that have good reviews, then a camera is such a lovely present to have. I remember the first time I got a digital SLR camera and I loved it so much. However, I found it really difficult for being able to just take out and about with you because it's bulky, it's got too many bits and pieces, you have to know how to use it. This is a point and shoot camera, it automatically focuses, it gives you really nice high quality pictures and all you need to get is a camera, a memory card and that is you ready to go. It's good because you can transfer the pictures from your camera to your phone wirelessly. You actually just get an app on your phone, you press that button on the sides of the camera, they connect together through Wi-Fi even if there's not Wi-Fi there. It picks the camera up as a Wi-Fi location so once you connect them together you can send over whichever pictures you want. So you can then use some editing tools and filters and stuff on your phone if you want to make them a little bit more special. But I definitely think having memories to give back to your children as they grow up especially of the times that they can't remember, is such a lovely thing to do. So yeah, definitely getting a camera is a great present because you're not just giving a present, you're giving memories to someone. The last gift idea I have that is something different is an electronic doorbell. We have just got a Nest doorbell ready to get installed. It's something I've always been looking at, especially for me when I'm ordering things for doing videos and I've maybe got some online orders being a mum. Like it's hard to get things in the shops. It's sometimes easier just doing some online buying. But having a Nest doorbell, meaning that it can connect to your phone when someone rings it, you can tell them to leave the package with a neighbour or leave it around the back or come back later. Or if you're five minutes down the road, then tell them to wait. I think will be so invaluable. Good from a safety perspective as well. Being at home sometimes on my own with two kids and the doorbell going. Of course I've got the dog, but it's nice to know that you can see the face on your phone popping up on the doorbell. It's like, smile, you're at the door. <laughs> I can see you. But yeah, I really like the idea of these doorbells. I think that give it 10 years time and most people will have these. So guys, that is the end of my little electrical last minute gift guide for all the family. If you want to know where any of the items are from, then if you just click on the description box below, that's just under the video title, it will show you all the links to each of the items that I've spoken about. And of course, I will try and find the cheapest ones for you so you are getting the best deal. If you're new to my channel, then hit subscribe because it is free. Just means that you're following me over here on YouTube and go and check me out on Instagram as well. See what we got up to over the holidays and also if there are any other last minute deals that I find, then of course I will link them on stories as well. But I'm going to go just now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.